What happened in the Marietta Temecula Valley housing market last month in September? Well, we have two of three of our cities that we analyze with modest price drops. I'll fill you in on the details starting now. Hi, Jessica Janung here with Active Realty and the Janung team. Thank you so much for checking out our channel and we are gonna get right to our market report. I'm gonna give you an overview about what's going on in the market and towards the end of the video, Chris is going to run the numbers as usual. If you just wanna uh, skip to the numbers and not hear my commentary, um, feel free to just skip ahead. The timestamps are gonna be down below in the description. Interest rates trended upwards last week and mortgage applications have decreased. You likely have heard that the markets, they've been a little bit unsettled over the past month with the debt ceiling debate and the possible government shutdown. So same story is happening with the mortgage rates. It's been an up and down ride. The average 30 year fixed rate mortgage for an owner occupied home is about 3.15% as of today. If you're buying an investment property, you may or may not know, normally those rates are about a half a point higher. Initial and continuing jobless claims fell. The ADP employment report showed a gain of 568,000 private payrolls in September. This is the big news for our area. The month over month median sales price in August versus last month, which was September, it dropped by $5,000 in Murrieta. It dropped by $10,000 in Menifee, but it rose $5,000 in Temecula. So Murrieta and Menifee median sales price dropped and Temecula's increased a little bit. But even just a $5,000 price increase in Temecula is definitely a leveling off. Keep in mind year over year home prices are up 161,000 in Temecula, which is about 13,000 a month in appreciation. A lot of Temecula homeowners made more per month in their home equity last year than they did their jobs. I think that we are seeing some early signs of some stabilization. I don't wanna paint an overly rosy picture for buyers, although we are having an easier time getting our clients offers accepted but it is still a very strong seller's market with the average days on market around seven or eight days. So properties are still flying. In the competitive price ranges and popular neighborhoods, there are still many multiple offers. Our listing in Marietta last weekend received about 15 offers. So the 500,000s are still quite competitive if the home is in good condition and it's in Temecula or Marietta. It is so week by week right now in the real estate market. After a slight end of summer cool down, it felt like the market was ramping back up against uh, once school started. But now it's feeling like a little bit more of a normal market and I expect to see the market slow a bit as we head into the holidays, all, if all things stay the same. So after everything being canceled last year, I think folks are especially pumped about the holidays and the events this year. I know I am, I've noticed it in my neighborhood as well. The Halloween decorations, they came out early, even before October, it seems like, and most of the Halloween decorations are already sold out in the stores. Now they've moved on to Christmas decorations. A question I get asked all the time is, should I wait until a better time to buy? Should I buy in the spring when there's going to be more inventory? Is December and around the holidays a bad time to buy? Um, in my mind, it makes no difference. There is usually less inventory to choose from during the holidays, but there is also less buyer competition out there looking. And sellers that are listing their homes in December are typically very motivated. I will say on a personal note that we closed on our current home just days before Christmas, which I do not recommend. We barely got our Christmas tree up and we didn't even get the ornaments on it. So it really felt like that we did not have a Christmas that year. Um, although the following year, it did make Christmas really enjoyable because we had missed it the year before basically. On the flip side, if you want to wait for the strong selling season, you will definitely have in a normal market, and I expect this is gonna happen this spring, you will have a lot more houses to choose from, but you will also have a lot more buyer competition, which is why it doesn't make any difference in my mind. It kind of evens itself out. If you are considering moving to our area, we have created a free relocation guide, which is available down below for immediate download. Um, be sure to check that out down in the description. Um, Chris is going to be coming in here next, and he he is going to run the numbers for you. See you later. Hey everybody, Chris here. Thanks for checking out the stats. Stick around to the end and I will tell you more about events in the community including this Marietta Rod Run shirt that I'm wearing today. Alright, let's get right to the numbers. As always, we're doing single family home only. No land, no condo, anything like that. And we're doing the median, not the, not the average. 
All right, like our thumbnail says and Jessica mentioned, we are seeing two of our cities with price reductions. That's an interesting and encouraging sign for us. Marietta 615,000 versus 490 last year is, is up 25.5%, which is a lot, but it is the second month now, month over month decline. In Menifee, we have 510,000 versus 430,000 last year. That's up 18.6%. And again, this is another month over month decline of 10,000 this time in Menifee. So 510,000 is at a 10,000 decline from 520 last month. Now at Temecula, we have 700,000 even. That's a nice number, I like that. 700,000 versus 538, 900 the year before is up almost 30%. And like Jessica said, that is an increase. It is an increase, but it's a very small increase by Temecula standards of 5,000 month over month. So I hope that 700,000 number, I hope that's our peak. So we'll keep an eye on that like we always do. One final thing about that 700,000 number in Temecula, that's 85,000 more than more than Marietta. The last year or two, we used to say 40, 50,000 difference between the two, two cities, but um, that's 85,000 now in Temecula versus Marietta. All right, closed sales. I go over these pretty quick, but I'm gonna do a little something different this month where I'm gonna talk about our personal business. People seem to like that in our trench reports and um, we appreciate your comment and feedback. So, but first, let's let's go through them. 207 versus 267 last year in Murrieta. Menifee 206 versus 28, basically flat in Menifee. And Temecula 189 versus 221. All right, so September is the end of the third quarter. And in our business, we, we think about quarters. We think about this last quarter. We think about the end of the year and our goals and stats and things like that. So I thought I'd just share uh, what what Jessica and I and our team have done this year if you're interested. Now if you saw our video last week, you saw that we, we kind of threw that together real quick. We shot it in the car. It's because we were pretty busy. We had three closings on Wednesday and then two the next day and we had our two listings with um, opening escrow on those and then another buyer escrow open last week. So sometimes we're just pretty dang busy. So on our stats, through uh, year to date, including um, those ones that closed last week, we are now 65 year to date. And um, I include the team and referrals in that. So just Chris and Jessica was, was 13 less than that. So that's 52 uh, for Chris and Jessica year to date. All right, getting back to the stats. All right, median days on market. The last few months have been having some fun with this. Starting with July, we had 666. August went 777, better, better number. And then I was kind of hoping September would go 888. Uh, we were close. We went 778 in Temecula. So let's look at it. Marietta, seven versus five days on market last year. Menifee, seven days versus six last year. And then Temecula, there's, there's our number eight, eight versus six last year. So these are very uh, incremental improvements for us on the buyer side that we like to see. But they are, like Jessica said, still going very fast, especially the, the most popular properties uh, priced well in the most desirable areas of, of Marietta, Menifee, and Temecula, of course. All right, last stat we have is number of listings. Marietta, 260 versus 291. Menifee 248 versus 236. And then finally Temecula 252 versus 251. I've been uh, kind of emphasizing the Temecula number of listings. I've been showing you the, this chart here that's showing an uptick slightly. And this month it was still slightly higher than last year, 252 versus 251, but it hasn't been those bigger uh, increases over, over um, last year that I've kind of been hoping for. So across all three of our cities, we're still basically half of where we want to see it, 250 versus uh, 500 we'd like to see. Um, let me show you again on our charts where I, I do include 2019 before the pandemic, kind of the before times where all three of our cities, it was better to have close to 500 listings. Now let me switch back over to InfoSparks. This is the, the data from our MLS. This is where I always get uh, my data. Um, so let me show you month's supply. Month supply basically means if no more listings came on the market, how long would it take at the current pace for these to sell through? So Marietta 1.3, 1.3, Menifee, and then Temecula 1.4. And um, just like our small incremental improvements, we are seeing a small incremental improvement there, but it's still definitely a seller's market. 
All right, September going into October now. We've got Halloween, Thanksgiving, uh, all sorts of community events, like Jessica said. I uh, want to give a special shout out to recently closed uh, client Rosie that told us that she likes to see event info in these videos. So let us know if you agree with that. So let me show you this uh, Marietta Rod Run last week. This was on Friday and Saturday of last week. It was beautiful weather both days. We were out there on a Saturday. It was 75 degrees, sunny, uh, great, great weather, great turnout. I'm not a car guy, but my, my father-in-law is. That, that's him you see him posing right there. He said it was a great turnout as far as the quality of, of cars. And if you can see on my shirt, it says uh, ninth annual. So that's, this is the ninth year they've been doing that event. That's fantastic. So again, we'll try, to, we'll try to show you more of these. We'll get out there and have some more fun and, and shoot some events. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.